This is my solution to the triangles and squares problem posed on number file. The problem stated that if you had three triangles um, arranged in a certain array that the, their angles would add up to 90 degrees. So in order to prove that I have created this construction here. Now what I've done is created a rectangle I mean, with here, so we've got a right angle here, a right angle here, a right angle here, and this would this here will be a right angle. So the three angles here do add up to a right angle. And what I'm going to do is therefore prove that these triangles are sim all similar triangles to the ones in the puzzle. Now, I can start off by stating that this here is a perfect uh, isosceles right angle triangle. So. I'll put the little song here. These are equal sides. So here we go, one to one. We've got a one triangle. Therefore, the length of this here is root two. This triangle here, I'm making a similar triangle to the second triangle in the puzzle, which means there is a ratio of one to two between these two sides. Therefore, this half side is half of this side. Therefore, this side is root 2 over 2. Because this is a right angle triisosceles triangle, it means the angles here are both 45 degrees. Because this here is a right angle, this here is 45 degrees, the angles add up to 180 degrees. That means this here is also 45 degrees. And because this is the corner of a rectangle, Therefore, again, this must also be 45 degrees, and therefore we have got another right angle isosceles triangle, and it's half the size of this one, which, because, or, therefore, because it's scaled down by half, we can therefore know that the sides of this triangle are 1 over 2 and 1 over 2. Because this shape is a rectangle, therefore this side here must be equal to this side here. And we know it's a rectangle because, as I said, I've declared that all these are right angles. Therefore, we have a length of a half there. Now, again, because that also means that this side here must be equal to this side here. This side here is equal to 1.5, or 3 over 2. 3 over 2 is 3 times this. That is the property of the final triangle from the puzzle. Therefore, we have angle alpha there, angle beta there, and angle gamma there. We have a 1 to 1 triangle, a 1 to 2 triangle, and a 1 to 3 triangle.